Hi. Good evening. Hello. Thank you for joining us. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. Every time you start laughing at the beginning. Because I'm what like is smiling. It? What do I say that is so funny? Nothing. Nothing is. <laughs> yes, thanks for joining us. Um, we're a minute late or two. It's just sorting out the blog. Uh, just checking the blog. So it was down today, but we believe that it's up again. Thank you to... Thank you um, very much to the lovely Louise yes. Sims. Yay! Um, yes. So hopefully that's up and running. Uh, but yes, so say hello um, as soon as you pop in um, so we can see who's there watching us as well. Just get uh, up and running. Yeah, so check that out. Um, yeah, we're independent stamping up demonstrators in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products from our online shop at mitosocrafts.com. It is now... Um, Yes, it is now working, so that is great. Uh, so for the past week, uh, we've done an impromptu live on our Facebook page um, yesterday, just showing our pre-order from the new annual catalog by Stampin' Up. So yes. exciting mm. stuff. We haven't actually made anything with that because we've been uh, concentrating on the retiring stuff currently. So for today's projects, we're, we'll be doing a couple of cards yes a couple yeah. of cards and i think you've got your special project at the yeah, end yeah i've got you? a treat box um of, uh yes yeah, so it's a, a fold flat uh treat box which is great using the dsp because the botanical prints product medley by stamping up is currently 60 percent off uh, it is retiring but you do get a lot of stuff on there yeah so yeah we'll show you in a moment but i'll yeah. show you in the catalog so it's 60 percent off um, it's down from £65 yeah. to 26 So that is such an amazing um, um, deal. Um, you all right? Yep. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so it's, um, it's, it's great saving. Uh, we don't know um, it, when it's going to go because it's only available while stock lasts. So it's definitely worth getting. You get dies, uh, stamp set, designer search papers or pattern papers, uh, laser cut detailed, um, layers, uh, elements, printed elements, embellishments, ribbons as well. So loads yeah. of barrows going to show you that when we prop up. Uh, last week, uh, we had Jana who won our card that we created from the live. Hi, Linda. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so we sent that off. So what we're going to do today is uh, if you do the comments, on the actual video and we'll we'll do the drawing is that yeah if you want to be in with the chance of winning this what if you write in this you've got the two things where you can do the chat with us where you can chat with us live um like linda and um julie julie hi julie. like you've just gone and done now and kim like you've just gone and done um, but if you want to be in with a chance of winning one of the cards, you actually need to pop a comment in the actual comments of the video um, and not the chat as well. So just pop in there, share the video, pop in there saying hi. Um, uh, what have I done? No, nothing. <laughs> sorry. You just popped up straight away. Hi, Kim. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so if you want to be in with a chance, is that you get at the bottom of the video, you can actually see the comments as well. So that's where you need to pop your comment if you want to be in there with a chance. Share the video with your friends as well. That'd be great. And just pop shared in there. That'd be lovely. And then we'll pick a winner from those comments. It doesn't allow me to pick a winner from the chat comments, yes, unfortunately. unfortunately. But yes, so um, as Barry said, um, give us a thumbs up if you haven't uh, if you haven't done so already. Uh, share and subscribe to our channel if you would like to see more card making and paper craft inspiration throughout the week and in the future. Cool. Uh, so yes, so we're gonna crack on. Uh, I we did some blog uh, posts throughout the week, uh, but the Wednesday Facebook Live I've already sent that to um, Jana, so I can't actually show you. But I will be sharing some sneak peeks for next week. I'm meant to be doing a stamp review crew uh, blog hop this more uh, tomorrow morning, but because the blog was down, I kind of like um, stepped out of that hop. Uh, so I'll be sharing a, um, a sneak peek of my projects. I created three projects for that, so I might as well sh share it, and uh, I'll blog it another time. Cool. Okay. Excellent. Cool. All right. Um, yeah. I will try and try and move. <laughs> I don't want to move the, the camera because I always make a mess of it. But Paris got Tommy on his lap, so... 
I've got, I've got a cat just down here, just perched on my lap as I'm waiting to record. Hi, Tommy. I've got his bum, I'm holding his bum so he doesn't fall off and scratch me. There you go. And he's just seen the um, oh, seen so an empty yeah, chair and he's I ditched, moved and he's ditched, he's ditched yeah. me now and gone to the chair by the side of me. So, yeah, so let's flip you round. Yeah, it's R for a little bit, Kim, and then it then it becomes rather annoying. <laughs> no. no, you're not annoying, Tommy, are you? So, okay, so I, as we said, this is the one which we're going to be using. So it's got lo a load of stuff in here. It comes in a lovely, well, I say lovely box. It comes in a box. Which you can um, decorate. Which you can decorate so if, if you, you want, want to. And it comes with everything which you have in here. Now we've already separated this out into because uh, into packs, because we're thinking of doing a class with it. So you can split it between four people. Um, obviously, the stamp set is the problem. In fact, the stamp set will be with us and not with you. So we're we're kind of coming up with some plan of how to do this. But I'm going to show you what one person would get, and obviously, what I show you will be you get four times that amount if you buy it for yourself. So you not only get where is the stamp set anyway? Oh, it's here. Sorry, I was I was hiding it. You so you get the stamp set, which is this one right here. So the botanical print stamp set. Friends, kind um, thank you kindly. I'm always here for you. And these lovely distinctive stamps, really, really nice. Um, and I will show you those in a second. You get some old olive ribbon. So you get six point four meters. No, um, 10 yards of that, which is um, 9.1 metres, I think that equates to, um, yeah, 9.1 metres. So you get loads and loads of ribbon. You get these beautiful copper embellishments here. So these lovely little um, bees, really, really nice. And they're metal embellishments, so you'll need some glue dots to work with those. So you get those in it. You get the papers, I'll show you those in a second. You also get some pop-out elements for your sentiments. You get some pop-out elements as well, which are already coloured in. So these, if you don't want to do some colouring, you can actually just colour these in at like, they're already some pre-coloured. Now again, you get four times the amount of what I'm showing you here. And you get these. So you get a couple of these as well. So it's in the pretty peacock one side and it's white the other side. So depending on how you want to do it, you can use that and you get four of these in the pack as well. So it's really, really pretty. So you get those and then you get a whole packet of six by six design series paper. So you get, so you'll get two, you'll get eight sheets, two, four. Yeah, you'll get eight sheets of each design. So it's really yes. good. So and you get them two sided. So that's that one there. That one, that one, and the colours on these are crushed curry, terracotta tile, um, obviously whisper white and basic black, crushed curry and whisper white, and there's your white and basic black, and then you've got your pretty peacock as well, and these ones are lovely and really, really nice. And you get the old olive um, ribbon. Yeah. So that's that. And then on top of all of that, so for £26, you will get all of that times four, plus, well, apart from the stamp sets, I think you won't get four stamp sets and four lots of dies. But that's nothing. Nope, it's it is one. Not that one. You would also get these dies as well. So you'll get the botanical prints dies. So you will get these. Okay. Now we've gone ahead and we've made this nice and simple for you. And this is what these dies will do. So they will cut it out, so you'll get these two triangular ones. So these two here is what they look like. And then you can then use the stamp with your stamp set and then die cut them out. And then you get these two lovely little leaves here, which can be cut out in some green maybe, or any color you want. Or if you want to go to a monotone one, white and black looks quite nice as well. So, and that's what they look like. And I think they are absolutely amazing. 
really really pretty and this distinctive set and I've actually coloured one off camera as well ready for the ready for the video today and I'm really really easy to colour because of this shading which you've got in here as well it's just so easy to get quick simple and stunning results really really easily and I, I'm going to show you what what I mean by that so in a moment so you get all of that for £26 bargain absolute bargain now they are a while stocks last so if you are interested in that um you can head over to our online shop and you can purchase one of these um yeah and you can get your hands on something like this and i think it's absolutely amazing amazing, amazing. don't forget to use the host code if you do purchase it yet yeah, like jay just said don't forget to use the host code um for a little extra thank you from us next month so I'm going to pop that in because they are ready for three special people that will sign up for a class in the not too distant future. Obviously, depending on while stocks last, but we've got enough for three people to start off with. But if we get more, we, have, we can buy some more <coughs> if they are in stock. All right, so I'm going to pop all the black back in the box again so I don't um, lose it. And away we go. So I'm going to do two cards for you, as we said, and Jay's going to do a um, a treat box for his one. So I'm going to do my first one here, okay? So I've already gone ahead and I've gone and pre-cut some stuff. Now, can I just have a ruler, please, Jay? Because um, I cut everything, but I didn't actually write down the sizes which I did it at, and I can't oh, remember. Oh, well, so I've cut my card base, which is cut down, already being pre-cut, which is 21 centimetres by 14.5. And as we do, we score this at 10 and a half, and that creates our card base. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold that like so. I will get a bone folder in a moment. I'm on it, I'm on it. Hint, hint, Jay, get a bone folder for me. There you go. Okay, and we're just... Reinforce that crease so it's nice and flat. I have got a bit of Whisper White here, which is being cut to 9.3 millimeters by 13.3 millimeters, and my Whisper and my designer series paper has been cut to nine by 13. So the layer is three millimeters larger than the than the actual designer series paper. We always used to go five millimeters, but we we seem to have gone gone smaller because I think we're quite liking the small borders at the moment. So and I quite like going a lot smaller, a, a little bit or a couple of centimeters or a centimeter smaller than the actual card base. So you can actually show off the actual color of the the card base as well, especially when you're using a color. So don't be scared. You don't have to fill the whole thing up. You just don't be scared to go smaller. And, that's... and use that off cut. <laughs> and use the off cut. <laughs> what? Well, sorry. It's put me off. What? Use, use the off cut. Because you get oh. a bigger, bigger sheet of And there's, sheet. there's the off cuts for it. I thought you hadn't seen those. <laughs> I, was to, I was trying to hide them in the background. <laughs> I know where your stash is. Rats. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to go and glue this part to um, to the Whisper White to start off with. All right, so this is going to be a nice, real simple card. Um, first inspired, actually, by a card, obviously, we know, obviously, some of you will know, an Australian demonstrator, Kylie Batucci, and, um, and her Love It, Chop It theme. So, um, and this card is actually inspired by one of her cards which she's done because she is just amazing at using designer series papers. So, um, yeah, check her out as well. Um, she is an Australian demonstrator. So if you obviously, if you live in the UK or the Europe, you can't shop with her, so you, but you can shop with us. Um, but yeah, it is inspired by her. So I'm just changing that up so slightly with the color and using the white, but yeah, that's where I've got my inspiration from, from this one here. So that's going to go down like so. So many times I think to yourself, I need, I wanted, I was going to use a colour for the for the layer, and because I've actually got quite a dark, because the the pretty peacock is quite a dark colour anyway, and there's a lot of pretty peacock in here then using a white using some whisper white as your layer 
It's something which I'm, I'm sure, I, it's something which you don't really do that often, but it works. And I think it works well with this one because there's white in the actual design. And so it's very monotone. So it's, it's um, a two tone card, this one. Um, so yeah, again, don't be scared to use your white as your layer. What I would have done, I didn't actually do it before coming on camera, is I would have actually gutted and gone through and probably cut myself a couple of layers out and a couple of um, tags out from the inside so that you didn't waste anything um, because it's not going to get seen when you open it up. So just that's another thing to think of. If you've got some tags to do, then you can. So I am going to stamp some stuff. Let me just pop those back in there. I thought I had a bit of Wisp of White over here. I can give you some. Um, here. You Which, left it all by the computer. Did I leave it all by the computer? I was organised in life, but I left it somewhere. All right, so I'm going to grab my stamp set. So the Botanical Print stamp set, and I'm going to take that one. And I'm going to take the one which Jay is using as well in a moment. In black. In black, yeah. I haven't, I haven't, um... And I'm just going to stamp these. And now, so this is how easy and simple this is. You see how... So I'm just using Memento because I'm going to colour in blends. So if you're colouring in, in the alcohol blends, you always want to use the opposite to what you're colouring in. So you, you use a water base if you're colouring in alcohol. And the opposite, if you're colouring in water pencils, you would use a, an archival, you'd use a permanent ink. So you always use the opposite to what you are color to what you are colouring in. All right, just look how stunning that is, and how easy and simple that is to stamp. So which is lovely. So I'm just going to clean this one off, and then I'm just going to. So I'm using my good old stamping scrub. Going to clean that one off, and I'm going to bring the other image in. I knew you were going to say that because I thought it in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Imogen? Imogen? I don't even know her. <laughs> <laughs> that work. All right, so that's that one. And give that a clean up as well. That's it. So that's those two there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to colour some of these. So that's colour. I'm going to go with a contrasting colour. Now, I, we haven't got a crushed curry blend. So the closest we've got to that one is the Mango Melody. So I'm going to use this one for colouring. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to literally colour these in the lights. Is that us or is that something else? What's that, sorry? Crush curry blends. I know we don't have it, but this does. I don't actually know Stamp Up actually have it either, so Jay's just gonna look into that. Yeah, one crush curry, me. nah. Yeah. But they don't have wouldn't. a they don't have a crush curry, you yeah. say? No. Alright, so the closest you're gonna have is the mango melody, which will be that. So I'm gonna grab the dark now and I'm just literally gonna colour where that shading is. And you know what, it's just so simple to create an easy shaded using these. And then I'll just go back over again with the with the light just to blend that in a little bit more. Mm. I'm just being rough with this, don't need to be perfect. So that's that one. So what colour should I do these lovely little flowers over here? I'm going to go in with the some petal pink. So I'm just literally colouring those in, being quite rough, around in the light petal pink. And I'm just going to take the dark and I'm just going to roughly colour where the shading is on the actual stamp. So you use that shading to help you out. Uh, it's absolutely perfect. And we're just colouring a little bit of pink on the top there. And we will grab the green. 
So I'm going to do the same with this with the leaves. I'm going to go in roughly, just, I am really being rough with this. I'm not being perfect. I would say I'm, I'm not going over the edge. Well, I'm trying not to go over the edge anyway. So, and then we grab the dark and we're just going to literally just colour in a little bit just on those shading areas here like so get the light again and just soften that out a tiny bit hi Gian so, Ooh, look at you, like that. All right. So, Jay is of them um, going to go ahead. I've actually coloured the wrong one. I, I was, I thought I'd be organised, and I die cut them out. I should have coloured this one and not that one there, because Jay's going to have to go and die cut that one out for me. That's now. fine. That's <laughs> so what I'm here I've for. I've already gone and I've already gone and coloured and cut this one out here, um, using the same exactly the same colours. So the mango melody there and the um, granny apple green. Just going to bring in the petal pink and I'm just going to colour in that flower at the top there. I don't know, we had this conversation earlier on, me and Jay. We don't actually know what these flowers are, so if anyone can tell me <laughs> what these flowers are. Now, I said they look like rose hips. Um, but I don't actually know if that is correct. So if anybody could tell me exactly what these flowers are, we would really appreciate that. Just make it up, it's fine. They're flowers, they're pretty. I coloured it differently on my card. So. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, so that's that. So there we go, that's those two. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna pop some dimensionals on this one here, grab my Tokyo Pip tool. So I'm gonna pop some dimensionals on the larger one. So I've gone ahead and I've used the nested, the, what are they called again? The stitched nested label dies. So a nice shape. And they've got stitching all the way around the edge and they have stitching the other side as well, which is really, really good. Can you do us a favour, Jake? Can you yeah. actually turn this light on? It's not um it's not actually on. Mm. Is it going down? Right, that's it. I go up to the third one. Can you go up to the third one for me? That's it. That's good. It's magic. There we go. And I'm gonna pop that. Gonna go to the side, kind of like the top, like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of the sentiments out from here, and I'm gonna go thank you kindly. just going to pop that now I know it's going to be I'm going to pop it over more to the right hand side rather than in the center because I know I'm going to cover part of the left hand side up let's hope I've got that straight that's as straight as it's going to get we have said rose hips too as well yeah I uh, I would as well. Does everyone is everyone in agreement? Rose hips. I don't know what these flowers are. Are they are they rose hips? Are they part of the rose hip flower, the bush, or whatever it is? You can tell we're not gardeners, can't you? The bush, whatever it is. <laughs> and then I'm going to stick that. That's going to get put down with some glue. Um, on this side here as well. I'm not going to go with double dimensionals because that would just give it a little bit too much height. Now again, if you're sending this in the post, um, you might want to consider not using dimensionals. 
because it might just add that little bit too much height to itself. But So you can see there the double stitching. So that's the nested layers. So when you um, when you go with the next layer up, it goes around, but the off cut from this one would have had stitching around it as well. Julie so, said oh, they are rose hips. They are rose hips, good, okay. So there we go, there's the off cut from it. So you can see that's how that looks like that. So the off cut can actually, will have the stitching around it as well. So if you, you can then use that as a nice aperture for something. So that's how that is designed to work. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take one of these and we are going to, that's just going to get stuck on the side right here. And I think I was thinking of going with one down here as well. I might actually just take that off and go underneath it. So it's going to go like that. So I know it's going to be somewhere underneath that one. And I'm going to need one up here as well. And probably one down here on the stem will be good. And that will be enough for that. And then I might then just stick a little bit of liquid glue behind these bits here just to stick it to the to the actual sentiment area as well. I just realised I wasn't going to stamp that in black. I was actually going to stamp that in Pretty Peacock. But yes, never mind. you failed. I failed with my challenge. I'm trying not to use black too much for stamping sentiments and bits because you've got these lovely colours and they just don't get used. So, but I failed instantly. I've got it ready. It's right here. <laughs> I just didn't use it. I'm just so used to using using black ink. It's just going to go over like so and then that glue will then sit on there and make that permanent once that's done. So we can either leave it like so or we can stick, if I'm ever so careful, I can just prise up this one over here. like that with it just coming off a little bit on the side here so that it just it just comes off Fancy. okay so I'm just gonna I'm, go, I'm not gonna pop any glue on that one because I'm still in two minds whether or not I like it there so I'm gonna I'm gonna look afterwards and go yay or nay if I don't like it then if I haven't put the glue on it I can still take it off but that's where I think at the moment it might be a little bit too much so I might just leave it with you know what I'm just going to go with that I'm humming and harring about it so it's coming off there we go all right so you can use if you wanted to you can add some ribbon onto this one as well if you really wanted to um, but I think that there is a real simple card. But if you haven't, then you've got these lovely elements which are right here. If you didn't want to do the colouring and you want to make it even quicker, and you can change up these elements and you can pop something in like that. And that's the ones which have already been pre-coloured and pre-done. Pre so you can use those as well. So that's always a, a good little thing for you. All right, so there's my first card. I'm gonna pop that and I will come back to that one. If you want to, you can take one of these strips and you can decorate the inside. I'm just gonna hide that away in there and swiftly moving on. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know what you're looking at. It's got an evil look then. So I'm just like, what? why are you hiding that? You right, so the, the next one is next gonna one. be, no, I, no, the next one is as well. No. So I've got this one here. We are going to, so I've got my card base again here, which is done at 21 centimetres by 14.5. Um, 14 Score that at 10 and a half, so like that one. I have got the same layer here. So this is the Pretty Peacock. So this is actually, no, it's a different layer. So this is 8.67, 8.8. .8 by, 
12.8. All right, so that's that layer there. And then I have got my Whisper White, which will be 12 and a half by eight and a half. Okay, so again, three millimeters bigger would then give us a nice contrasting color like Which that. Which is like an eighth of an inch. But like an eighth of an inch, yeah. yes. So we're trying to, because we're now doing our online our online classes and selling our online tutorials, we're trying to be aware, and Jay more than me, I'm still, it's still a massive learning curve for me. Um, we're trying to be more aware of making sure that our measurements which we use are easily convertible into both centimeters and inches so it's suitable for all markets. Um, so everyone obviously in America, Canada, Australia, wherever you are watching this, hopefully our measurements will be easily transferable and then when we convert them and write the instructions, we would always write the instructions and do the conversion. So depending on what you work in, it should be there for you. So we're trying to make a bit of a learning curve. So that, that three millimetres, like Jay just said, is about an eighth of an inch. So three millimetres, some of you will understand, an eighth of an inch. Others of you will understand more. So that's why we try and do it, that way we're trying to be more conscious and more aware of how we're doing that. So, Jay, can you just pass me over a scrap bit of paper, please, for stamping on? Yeah. So I'm gonna take my Whisper White layer right. here. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> gonna take my Whisper White layer. Sneak peek, a new stamp set coming out. The jar of jar of something jar of flowers i think it's called um, flower for every season yes so um that's that <laughs> swiftly moving on <laughs> i'm gonna use the beautiful i'm gonna use the other flower now which jay has taken again from me what flower or have i got it here you no i'm accusing jay of moving stuff it's here you put it away no. didn't you no i didn't <laughs> I've got the dice. I'm so used to accusing him of stuff. Wherever you moved it, the same as he does with me. Because he moved things. But then I'm I'm always, I tidy things up all the time. And then forget where I've moved it. Does anyone else do that? Hi, Frenchie. Hi, Frenchie. So, we, I'm going to go, this time I wanted to do black. Mm, shall I? Shall I? No, I'm oh, sorry, Jane. I did it. I made my thinking noise. Does anyone else make that thinking noise? Um, where you kind of like, that noise, it annoys the hell out of Jay, so I'm sorry if it annoys the hell out of you as well. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not using black. I am using Pretty Peacock, and I'm just gonna create my own background now. So we're just randomly going around. Filling in all of these gaps. So it's very similar, I suppose, to what we've done on the initial card. It's just that we're making our, um, we're doing our own one now. So you can carry on when the DSP is gone. Yes. So when your gorgeous DSP has been used up, you still can create your own stuff, so can I squeeze that in there? There we go. That's that. Tommy moved it. <laughs> Tommy moved it, yes, I'm gonna blame the cat. Tommy, it's your fault. There we go, so that's that one there. So how beautiful is that? And that stamp set is really good. Again, I'm gonna go on about it for 26 pound for the stamp set, the dies, paper, ribbon, embellishments, laser cuts pop out elements, bargain, absolute bargain. Um, right, I'm putting it away. I'm gonna make a mental note. I'm putting the stamp set away. Before I accuse him of doing it again. Okay, so that's that. So we can now glue this to this. I am nearly finished actually, Jay, so um, okay. that's, that's Jay's five minute warning where I've got to stick a few bits down and then I'm done. So I'm sticking this onto the Pretty Peacock layer and 
that's going on at like so. Again, and I really, I'm really liking these these lovely thin borders actually, and I think it looks even nice. It it just on the white, it just pops. So that one there, I have got a little bit here. Um, I'm just thinking about how I want to do it. So I'm going to go with thank you kindly again. Why don't you pop your excess um, DSP from the other one? Oh, okay. Okay, all right then. See, this is where Jay thinks of these things. But you can even do it the other way. Is it black and white? There you go. Look at that. See? Offset. <laughs> all right. So if you're wondering what I've just done there, I don't know, when you're trimming stuff, you may notice it bevels a little bit. So if you're, the way you're trimming, you get a nice vintage. When you turn it over to the opposite side, you may notice that it raises a little bit. So my little tip for you is grab yourself your bone folder and just flatten down those lines and then that little bevel part. I don't know if I can... I know what I mean. Yes, um, hopefully everyone else knows what I mean. You can't really see it on this, but that was the way that I cut the paper. So that was the front bit. So I wanted this, initially I wanted this as the front part. So this is the back side, and it kind of raises up a little bit because obviously the blade is pushed in. So obviously it's pushed the paper down as it's been cutting. So it's a little bit, for me, it, it doesn't show up too much on this one because obviously it's a really patterned paper, but I can feel it. But if you do notice it, just grab a bone folder and just, and just flatten it out. And then that way you'll just push down those fibers again in the paper and you'll make that nice and flat. And actually both sides will be usable and you wouldn't actually know what way you've cut that. So little tip there for you as well. So I've grabbed a bit of the, this is some actually some off cut of designer series paper, um, some whisper whites from earlier on. But before I go ahead, I'm actually gonna just stick the, this bit down onto the card base. So that can get nice and that can get good and stuck. <laughs> You're so funny. That's it. And that's going in like so. Right, there we go. I just realised my shirt is very similar to this pattern which I'm doing tonight. It's very misty moonlight. It's very misty moonlight. But it's very similar to obviously what's on here. As in... Yeah, I'm, very, I'm very colour coordinated tonight. Are you I am. Because you're in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Jay's being rude. So we're just bone folding that Joking. down as well. There you go. It looks quite nice on its own actually as well. So we will, what sentiment did I say that I was going to use? Let's use friend. Friend. No, I'm going to go with, um, thank you. I think, yeah, that fits in. Fits in better. So again, using the Pretty Peacock ink. Ink that up. I'm just going to bring this down. How can you still see down there if I bring it down to there? Um, actually, I just, I just need to think about where I'm going to put this for a moment. So I'm going to go down the side. Like so. There we go. Well done. All right. Just had a little bit of an ink splodge on there. Oh, do I do that again? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I must have had a cat hair on my end. I must have had a bit of a hair on my end. Um, I will turn it over. I'll see if I can get a better impression. There we go, that's better. I haven't got a hairy end. Cool. So, so I'm just gonna just push down. Look 
because of the cutting. Push that down ever so slightly. Snipping bigger than I actually need to because then I, it's easier for me to go right now. I want to take a little Tommy out. Oh, no, 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 no. Tommy! Right, so I'm going to do that. Come on. I've got a load of stuff on the bit where Tommy would normally sleep. And well, he sleeps everywhere. He does so sleep everywhere. Can be like anywhere. <laughs> so I'm just going to use this bit here. Oh, decisions, decisions. How do I do it? Do I do it that way? Do I do it? All right, I'm going to snip up this line here to start off with. Luckily, there's some straight lines on it, so you don't need to get your trimmer out. So I'm either going to go in the inside, and that's going to go like so, like that. So which then just makes that pop out just a little bit more. How does that look? Do we like that spot of colour in from that one which I did the first time round? I think I do. I, I think I quite like it like that. Has that got the thumbs up? These don't have thumbs up. They don't have thumbs up, sorry. We're not on that platform, are we? <laughs> um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go with it and then Jay can tell me afterwards I wouldn't have done it that way. Which is normally a normal conversation which we would normally have. No, I try to not tell you because you get annoyed with me. <laughs> so. I know when he doesn't like something I've done because he looks at a project too much. <laughs> he, he looks at it. Whereas Raffling just given me that instant, yeah, it looks fine, it looks, it looks lovely. He looks at it, and then when I know it, there's a certain time frame when there's looking, and then there is looking and then going, I'm looking, but I don't know how to say I don't like it. Um, and that's what the problem is. Does everyone else get that? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> He's looking at it, and I know he's probably looking at it. Oh, no, don't do it! <laughs> All right, and we're gonna use the um, dimensionals here, and we're just gonna stick this on, like so. Bottom line is, I'm happy with it. Exactly. It may, it may not be to Jay's taste. It's lovely. It may not be to everyone's taste, but then that's that's the, that's the thing with art and this kind of because this isn't art. It's craft. It's an art. It's your interpretation on things, and art isn't for your taste isn't for everyone. So, as long as you are happy with it, that will be fine. Beautiful. <laughs> and there we go. So I use that bit which I had, and having that, I think that's why having that spot of colour in there, bringing yeah. that in, just brings it in. And using that off-cutter designer series paper down here as well just highlights that just that little bit more. So I think that looks really, really pretty. Um, you okay? Yeah, just, just, I can see the comments coming up in. If we were all in the same world, wouldn't go round yet. Yeah. If we were all all the same, the world wouldn't go round yet. Yeah, so I love it. Thank you, Kim. There we go. So there is my two cards. 
That Which, was quick. That was. Well, it's not really quick. I have oh, been on 45 minutes. minutes. Okay. <laughs> but those two cards right there. So Amazing. there we go. So really simple cards. Now these are using the stamps and the die cuts, but again, we are we are trying to think and come up with a class of how we can do this. Um, a limited time purchase only because obviously they are limited stock and they are retiring. So keep an eye on our website if you are interested in Facebook, this. Facebook, um, our website. Just keep an eye on that if it's something you're interested in. We will post details on that as soon as we have designed it or actually got the costing sorted and what options are available. Um, because obviously you and the, everyone will need a stamp set to be able to create everything. We're trying to work out how we can do it. So just keep an eye on that, okay? Maybe if you want my two pen, if I were to put the rhinestones on the um, DSP under the sentiment. Um, somewhere around about here, Kim, is that where you're is that what you're saying yep. or around, yeah. I was thinking, I, rhinestones are something I do not use enough of. Actually, where's the, um, where's the, have you, got, have you used the bees for this? I've only used one bee. Have you got any more bees for um, us? It should be here. There you go. Have a bee. Let's have a bee. It comes with a bee, so I have a bee. Oh, you have... Um, do you want sequins? Um, or... The bird ballad trinkets. It's got leafy got and leafy. a flower. So we we'll pop a glue dot on this. No, Kim, if this doesn't work, I'm blaming you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> it looks fab. It'll be fine. But yes, I was thinking it just needed something down there as well. Um, just adds another spot there. And you've got the bird ballad ones which can possibly go there. I'm not going to stick it on camera now because I just, um, I, I, I really struggle with embellishments and where to go and I think I don't think about the placement too well and then I then overdo it. Possibly I think down there would work quite nicely with that one maybe. There. No, Jay's not, Jay's thinking too long. So yeah, no, I, I was nodding. <laughs> Did you not see me nod? Okay, all right. I'm going to leave the embellishments until afterwards. I need to I, I need to think about that because I'm not going to ruin it on camera. But yes, no, I was thinking that thing. So, um, but hopefully that is okay for you. Amazing. No, not on the blue card. Okay, yeah, we'll leave that as it is. <laughs> cool. All right, so there Thank we go. Thank you. I'm going to now hand you over to Jay and he is going to do a lovely treat box with you now. Um, and try not to keep you too long because I've taken 50 minutes of his yes. time. <laughs> All right. I'll try and be quick. Um, Remember, if you want to win something, pop comments down below. What I've been doing is putting people's names on, a, on the site. Okay. As they go along, so, yeah. So, right. Um, what do I have? That's fine. So I'll quickly, uh, I'm going to create something with this one. Because this one I actually use for a card that I designed earlier today. So I just cut the strip off and then I'm left with that. So that one is six inches by five and three eighths of an inch. Um, I don't know in centimeters, I'm afraid. Uh, where's my thing? So we are doing a full flat treat box. And where is my notes? Is that it? Yes. Guess where it was. <laughs> Slipper. <laughs> um, so we are scoring at on the long edge, one and a quarter, and four and three quarters. So that's basically the same width as that one. We are turning ninety degrees, and on the short edge, we are now scoring at. Ooh, if I go down a bit, there we go. So you can see. Uh, where are we scoring? Three quarters of an inch, one and a half, three inches, three and three quarters, and four and five eighths. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and we are marking at two and a quarter on top, 
and then we're flipping it over and then marking at the same two and a quarter. It might be hard to see in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is my trusty chalk marker. I'll just do two and a quarter there. Can I even see that? There. And I can feel it here. There we go. It's just so I know where, where the things are. It'll be easier on a piece of card flat, but if you're using DSP, just make sure that you can see. So there is some markings on there. Uh, and then we, what we, I'm doing is basically, if I fold it and burnish it, you, you'll be able to hopefully see a bit more of the folds. And this one was is actually inspired by the treat box that I did um, for the stamp review crew hop that I'm not hopping along anymore tonight. Um, so I thought I didn't do a video for it. So I thought I'll do one with this DSP and I only use Whisper White on that one. So yes. So basically we are creating uh, diagonal score lines. So what I tend to do is from you'll see that there's a there's a ga uh, there's a big area like the biggest the widest even area so from the first score line if you find it um, the joint from the they are from the horizontal to the vertical lines and then we are aligning that to the mark that I created there turning it over and then finding the score line on the other side which I can't see there you could also do this obviously off the um, off the scoreboard as well but we are creating a triangle there and then um, so basically a W like so and then the the peak of the middle bit is on the widest area so that is the W and then we're doing the same for this one. So I'm just finding the connection there, the intersection. That's a good word, isn't it? And then the mark area there and then moving along, finding the cross, I guess. And then moving along, there we go. So that is that. Oh, I will need something. And then we are just gonna fold it. So we are just folding. So the W is there. Um, I'm just finding one of the diagonal folds, and then folding that half and then finding the other diagonal fold like so, and then doing the same on the other side. So find the diagonal, find the straight line, and then the diagonal again, like that. And then that will be like so, but it, it actually needs a bit more on there. My nails are disgusting. <laughs> there we go. And then doing the same. Okay, so that one is three quarters of an inch and that one is, is that three quarters of an inch as well? In my original, it was five and a half, but I'm, I'm just trying to use the off cut, like priorities, taking the Mickey. Yeah. Don't know what you mean. Yeah, that's three quarters and that should be just under. Okay, so the one that's Oh, it's the same. <laughs> Is that correct? Three quarters. Three quarters. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter then. So uh, with that one, the action, and then we're gonna cut 
uh, the rectangular on each side so you can cut on the actual score line of there and then of here and then we are just gonna I'm gonna bring out the actual box because the next one I can't remember no I do know I'm just joking so let's have a look um, so that is gonna get folded in and that's gonna get folded in and then everything else gets folded inwards like so but we are just gonna re align these because that's gonna go so you, uh, we folded it that way earlier. That actually needs to go the other way. But once it's you folded it that way, it's easier to do it afterwards. So this is just gonna go within itself, and then that will go up, and then that will fit in. Okay. So that one, we are just gonna push back out, and then that one needs to come out as well. So because those triangles is actually going to be in side and that will be your side. Okay, so that looks like it's going funny inside. My triangle didn't work out. There we go. Why is, oh, because my triangle is funky. We'll see so that one is done that one's done and then this is just gonna go in okay <clears throat> did that make sense <laughs> <laughs> so this is just gonna go in but we'll need to create a, a hole for it so then or a finger tab so then people can then easily insert it so you'll find sometimes that it's a bit tight so it's easier to then just cut a sliver off the panels than actually going in and cutting a lot in the first place and then finding that it's so loose that it's just gonna open in itself uh, but if it does come too loose, you could always just do um, a wrap around. And that is pretty much the box. Um, and then the sides needs a bit more work on there, but um, that will bring up and all of the stuff that gets in put in there. Uh, will be secure. So I'm gonna do some stamping and then um, just finish off the decorations on the top. So which one didn't you use, Barry? The the tall one. Sorry. So I uh, I don't think Barry used this one. No, I didn't. Okay, so I'll use that one instead. And then I'm just gonna. Where are we? Memento. You okay? okay? I will need you in a second. <laughs> so I have old olive. You want me to die cut that, don't you? Yes, please. So I'm just gonna do all this is the light old olive. Uh, what's great about these, um, if Paris already mentioned, like because it's distinctive, it's already got the shading on there love it makes coloring so easy so you can either just do it in one color or if you want to do the combo the dark as well you can just concentrate on the shaded air already and then go back in um, and blend it out with the light so i'm just going over that and I'm not gonna, in my my other card, I actually tried to color the branch. 
but it's the bullet tip is still quite uh, big. Oh, can I get um, Poppy Parade, please? Poppy Parade, what blend? Yeah, I just um, I just want to do the berries. The rose hips. Are they a berry? Uh, they're, yeah, you can eat them. They're hips. Hips don't lie. <laughs> oh no. Or whatever color they're supposed to be, but I quite like the red. I think rose hips are red. They're rosy. Rose hips are red. Violets are what? <laughs> Purple. So I'm just gonna keep it there. Barry's gonna um, die cut that. Thank you. Uh, chuck it at you. And I've gone ahead, um, earlier actually did another one, but I thought um, Barry didn't use this one. But that one was pretty peacock with uh, light lips coral, but I'm not going to use that one. Uh, so I've gone ahead and die cut the triangular design as well. Uh, tone on tone, so I've glued it on the black. And if you have the label me fancy, so I did was, it's gonna go in that way. And because that was, wasn't, it was hitting the end of the label me fancy punch. So I just cut off the end. And I'm just gonna, it's actually, um, the width of it is the same width as that. Um, which is quite cool. So I thought I'll just do something with this one. And then it just gives the label me pants, fancy, fancy, a little bit of texture and interest on there. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> and also... What flower is it? No, it's label me fancy. Label you fancy. Fancy. Shut up. Uh, right, anyway, I can't remember <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna stamp the sentiment now. Shush you. Don't be mean. Um, so what did you not use? You've done, thank you kindly, um, here for you. Have you done that one? I haven't, no. Okay. I've just done the thank you one. Both? Both of them. Okay, cool. So I think they'd be suitable as thank you cards for our customers as well. So I'm just going to do here for you and the way you can do that is actually um, take mask off the end, uh, washi tape want? please, thanks. And then we're just going to add that on and then put a hole, a finger tab on there, thank you. So it could be here for you, treats, here for you. <laughs> That's my thinking anyway. Or for you, or we can just do for you actually, okay. Not the here for you. So you can just tape it up. And then ink it up. Take that off before you stamp because I've done that before. <laughs> I'm sure you're not the only one that's done that as well. There we go. And I'm just gonna fussy cut. Or um, you can just. Follow that line. See, I made a mistake, but I'm just gonna follow it. Right? Why are you laughing? After a few gins. <laughs> After a few gins? I haven't had a drink today, thank you. No, oh, what? It looks like it. Looks, it. Uh, it looks straight after a few gins, yeah. So rude. So that's gonna go like that. That's gonna go on there. I'm gonna put um, a finger tap on there. So what you could do is, again, if you have this one or the half a inch circle. What punch are you using again? This is the label me fancy. <laughs> See, because I'm thinking about it now. So you could always use this one. So it, it'll be a bigger, 
finger tab, uh, finger tab, yeah. But there we go. So then that can go in. All right, I want to sort this out. Where's so I'm just gonna reinforce that so hopefully it goes up a little bit better on the side. There we go. And then on this one as well. Sorry, can't see it, but I'm just basically reinforcing the um burnishing the diagonal folds. Yeah, there we go. And then what fits in there is some Kinder Eggs Mini. So a couple of those in there. And then that will be in. So good for table treats um, as well. And then, oh, so that that one. Oh, actually, you, you can just do the side, but the finger finger ones as well. So that's still quite tight. So I'm just gonna um, cut a bit more. I think that might be too much, but we'll see. So I'll show you my other one in a second. But I'm just gonna finish up with putting that on on top there with dimensionals some more towards the bottom there You can just fit. yeah okay that's fine right here uh for you so yeah ah that worked out quite well for you treat for you and if you want you can add the ribbon as well uh, which i'm not going to do and then we'll just do a little bit there. So there you go. So that's the box. Um, until you need it, you can keep it flat. Um, I'll quickly show you my other box uh, with Mountain Air. Um, and because it's DSP, actually, that's better now that it's got the that I've reinforced the sides. Uh, it's inspired by this one so I'll just close it up so this one using mountain air and I use just normal whisper white on there and it's got the um, I use triple banner punch to do the chevrons and then relay that in and this one um, it's got the flax ribbon in there and I use the detail to your punch and it opens up the same and it folds flat um, he says, yeah, falls flat until you need it, um, the same as that, and then you can just make a load and keep it in the box and then have it when you need to. How uh, pretty is that? So I'll, I'll show you a quick um, couple of cards as well with the other... So I'll show you, we'll come back in for you, some of you yeah. who are coming later. So there's the two cards which I've made. And there's the gift box which Jay has made <coughs> as well. So good, so we're going to do a draw in a moment as well. So um, get your comments in. We've managed to so pop your comments in the side and we're going to do a draw in a moment to win a card. What card are we giving away? Do we, um, do we know one of these ones yeah. here? We're going to give away one of these cards here. Okay, so... This is my cleaning. Just push it away. <laughs> so were you gonna show something? Yeah, I was gonna show the um the mountain air. 
Did you want to see that? Yeah, pop it in there. Yeah. So I'll quickly show you um, sneak peek. So to match the box um, that Barry put away is this one again using mountain air with the correspond majestic mountain dyes. So using um, I'm loving my chevrons, um, but yes. Yeah, so I thought I'll just kind of like mimic those ones, and then another one with a bit of sponging with mountain air. Um, I was gonna put joy and happiness because of a song, wishing you joy and happiness. But about all this, <laughs> did anyone get that reference? Okay, so let's... but it's but yeah, the sentiment for that is from um, peaceful moments. <laughs> okay, so Jay's gonna talk to you for a moment, and I'm just gonna pick out the last couple of people. So we've got Ooh. a few more names in here which we are going to add to the um, to the name picker. To the name picker. Yes, so um, hopefully you enjoy those three projects and get the Botanical Prints product medley if you haven't done so. For £26, it's such a, a great bargain, so 60% off. Uh, I think they just have your arm. So did you want to... Okay. So yeah, let's flip you. Oh, I've got a cat as well. Let's flip you round, and whilst we're doing that, Jay can talk to you, and I will do the computer and get the names generated quickly for yeah. you. So yes, so um, this was Barry's first card using the designer source paper and coloring the stamp image, and then this one repeat stamping uh, randomly using the offcut from the DSP that he <laughs> used, which is, I'm very proud of you. Uh, <laughs> and the um, embellishment that came uh, with the product medley on there. That's really cool, I like that one. And then the treat box. Um, so it's quite easy to color that one. Oh, and, and I didn't say uh, the print on this one matches the, the stamp set. So if you actually want the terracotta outline on it, you can die cut that because that corresponds to the die that's in the set. I don't have another one. Okay, so I have got the last name is going in. Yeah, so it fits perfectly on there. So you don't even have to color if you don't want to. Um, the outlines if you want to as well but another another use for the die is cutting the DSP but it matches the stamps as well which is great cool cool excellent all right so if you want to be in with a chance of winning one of these cards get your last comment in now I'm gonna take your last comments the last comment to come through is Delia so I am going to stop that at her and yep. we will now pick a random name. So I'm going to flip you around so you can see our screen and let's hope that this works. Let's see if this works and we are going to start. We've got 16 of you in with a chance to Ooh. draw. We're going to pick and the winner is... Who will it be? Cheryl Woyak. Whoa, yes, yeah. that is you. You have won one of these cards. Whoop, whoop. So, please ping us your details and private message us with your details, and we will pop one of these cards in the post to you. Um, so we are more than happy to do that for you. So good. So that's um, turn you around so you can see us. There we go. Yay. Cool. Excellent. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, and yes, so hopefully you've enjoyed those uh, three projects. As I said earlier, if you haven't done um, so, give us a thumbs up. It will just help our channel. Uh, subscribe to our channel as well if you haven't done so. Thank you. I'm in the US. Yes, yeah, that, yeah, that is that's great. Fine. Send us your details and we'll send it to you. It's not a problem at all. And uh, share our channel and uh, the videos that you have found um, enjoyable. That will be amazing and it will just help. Um, support our channel as well. Excellent. Cool. Lovely. All right. Thank you very much. Um, we will be back with you again on 
Wednesday. Wednesday. If not, unless we do an impromptu video throughout the week, but definitely be on Wednesday. But keep an eye on our on our pages just in case we do do other videos. And Tommy, as well here, is loving all the cuddles and the attention yeah. he's getting at the moment. Well, nope, he, nope. To go on. he wants to sit on that. Okay, okay Thank guys, you. thanks very much for watching, and we will see you soon. Bye, Bye. for now. Bye.